Halloween is coming soon guys. What could be more appropriate than a spooky diaper? At least for all those who wear or have to wear diapers, it lends itself perfectly. In this video, therefore, the Praxi stays of the rear's Halloween haunt. It looks familiar to you? That's because the seduction from the same manufacturer has already been tested. Both diapers are completely purple, but the seduction is not printed, the adhesive surface in front was transparent. With the Halloween haunt, it looks at first glance as if the manufacturer was inspired by the seduction or even took this diaper as a template, more on this later. The Halloween haunt is printed on the front in the area of the adhesive. The black background is illuminated by a creepy moon, you can see graves, the motif is probably a cemetery. Inside, however, the diaper is white with a blue area for the absorbent core. Similar to all other diapers. I have now tested over 60 and have not seen any other color inside, have you? If so, you can write it in the comments. On the edge, it has the high leakage protection. Even if the diaper is already pretty wet in the front and between the legs, it should prevent it from running out the side. This allows the liquid to flow further back or forward to be absorbed where it is not yet so wet. This leakage protection is so generously high in most ABDL diapers that you can also put a soaker pad in it, so that the diaper can withstand even more. But that is not what this test is about. The diaper is comfortable, fits similarly to the seduction and is similarly thirsty, repeated wetting was not a problem. It took some time before it reached its limits. The absorbent volume is comparable to the seduction, where the total weight was 1.9 kg minus 230 grams of the empty diaper's own weight. So here the manufacturer has simply taken its existing diaper without colorful motifs and printed creepy pictures on the adhesive surface at the front. I don't think this is a bad idea, as the purple somehow fits this mood. It's a darker shade that doesn't look as extremely gloomy as black, but still just rather dark. Most diapers have a white background that is printed with colorful motifs. That would fit less to a spooky mood, because it's too bright. You can see that on the rear's Rebel. Sure, the skulls on the black come into their own because it's a high contrast. But they don't create a spooky mood, which is not necessary with the Rebel. Here it's different. For Halloween, you don't just want to look rebellious, you want to convey a gloomy image. That's probably why they chose this diaper as a base, and not a white one, like the Critter Caboose, Safari or numerous others that the manufacturer still has in its range. I've already tested many of them, and they seem rather friendly and playful. Most of you will prefer that as well. Look at the price. They currently cost 31.07 euros per pack. Another gimmick is the number of pieces. There are 13 diapers in it, because the number is said to bring bad luck. You may have heard that from superstitious people who are afraid something bad will happen to them on a Friday the 13th. Since there are more in it, the unit price is not as extremely expensive as you might first think from the package price, 2.39 euros costs a single diaper. This is still in the lower price range for ABDL diapers if we leave out the crinkles due to their disposable glue. In relation to the absorbency, that's fair. The diaper had a total weight of about 1.7 kilograms when it leaked. Subtracting its own weight, that makes about 1.5 liters of pure absorbency. If you don't want to leak, it's a little less, about 1.4 liters. There are a few diapers that can withstand even more, for example, the Critter Caboose from the same manufacturer. That was almost 2.2 kilograms when it leaked. However, it is also more expensive, 2 euros and 74 cents costs a diaper there. Another alternative is the Safari. It lies between the two diapers in terms of absorbency and costs just 2 euros and 33 cents per piece. The price of the Halloween diaper is therefore still within reason, but not the cheapest. If you are looking for the best price performance ratio or want more absorbency, you are better off with the other diapers. That's hard to say across the board and depends on what's important to you. With the other diapers, you also get other designs and nothing for Halloween. If that doesn't matter so much and you're primarily interested in a comfortable diaper at a good price, then the Halloween edition is suboptimal. Add to that the limited edition, it's not available all year in every store, as is the case with other diapers. It's supposed to be a special edition that you don't wear all year, like with the other diapers. Sure, you can argue about whether it has to be. Sure it works without it, but it's a nice gimmick, I think. A creative idea that I have seen here for the first time.
Others have motifs that are inspired by everyday life, for example, suitable for carnival, which is still the closest. But a diaper for a special celebration has as far as I know no one done before. I still have a pack of these and will use them at Halloween time because they are comfortable. I also found the seduction not bad as a change from the predominantly white printed diapers after getting used to it a bit. However, I won't miss anything after that when I go back to wearing regular printed diapers like Rear Safari or Critter Caboose. I find those nice, comfortable, too, and they hold up quite a bit. It's like gingerbread at Christmas, you can do it for a while, but after that the normal sweets will do it again. What do you think about it? Do we need more diapers at common festivals, maybe soon one at Christmas and Easter? Write it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any more diaper videos, subscribe to my channel for free.